game. But UConn's season so far has primarily been its traditional destruction of New England neighbors like Brown, UNH, UMass, and Fairfield. 3-7 and seven, Rhode Island putting its head in the chopping block on Tuesday. But lopping this local off wouldn't be as easy. Jerry DiGregorio is a Connecticut native, and he says it was Jim Calhoun's call to URI's president that helped DiGregorio get the head coaching job in Kingston. Jerry D, family, friends, even his old high school coach in at the Mall in Hartford to take this one in first half. Karan Butler feeds Albert Mooring, and the Huskies lead 21-16. Still first half, Johnny Selvey. Driving and finishing. But UConn up only eight at halftime. We go to the second half. Edmund Saunders, say hello to my left front. Connecticut by 16. They're on their feet. Still second half, Selby picking up the loose ball and taking it in. He had a career high 26, and the Huskies lead at this point 75 58. More Connecticut later in the second half. Butler rebounds Robinson shot, and he puts it up. He had 14 points, 12 boards, and 11 assists. UConn wins 87-76. Hey, that's a triple-double. Hmm. It's the first UConn triple-double since Deron Sheffer in the 95-96 season. Civil at Madison Square Garden, Rutgers and Hofstra. Rick Apodaca following up and one, and Hofstra is up by two. Later in the second, more Apodaca. This one is splattered all over Manhattan. Part of a 7-0 Foster a run, they're up 7 16 for Apodaca. Under 30 seconds play, Rutgers down three. Todd Billet to tie, no. Roberto Gittens, the Gittens is good. He outlets to Richardson. He had 21, and Hofstra wins 58 52. Hofstra can become the second school to win this event three straight years in Wednesday's title game. Baker's alma mater, unranked Hartford. Darius Lane, Eddie Griffin, one of the three best college basketball players in the country right now. 21 points, 12 boards. Lane, oh, likes the view. 17 points. More of Griffin, though. We can't get enough of Eddie Griffin. No, really We're big fans. Target practice. Seton Hall wins it. 85-67. By the way, did I mention that Eddie Griffin also had four blocks? Number one, 9-0 and Michigan State hosting. Bowling Green, that's Dan Dockage's team. Tom Izzo, no worries. He's got Jason Richardson, his go-to guy. Richardson is going to get nasty. Watch this. Uh oh Told you. But you know what? It's not a dunk. It's actually an offensive foul. Richardson doesn't agree, but he'll learn from that. Later, with the Spartans up 11, Richardson on D. Taking it to the hoop. Spin move. 21 points for Jason. Puts the Spartans up 13. Under six minutes left. Spartans up 15. Richardson gets out ahead again. Ready? 360. Wow. Check it out again. Simply some crazy ups in authority from Jason Richardson, not scared of heights. Spartans cruise from there, improving to 10-0, winning the Holiday Classic. They've now won 21 straight, one shy of the school record. Oh, by the way, the last time Michigan State was number one during the regular season was in January of 1979, that magical year when Magic Johnson led the Spartans to the NCAA championship. You know, the camera guy shooting real tight. Back out. There we go. Tavares Hardy with the rip. He had 20. Later, Ben Johnson. Over there shooting three balls. He had 13. And we're celebrating. Northwestern wins it 63-61. The Wildcats shot 52% en route to their first win over a ranked team in nearly two years. Same tournament, different teams. Detroit and Iowa. Detroit's Willie Green. A little shake and bake by Luke Recker for the hoop. Titans up a touchdown. Seven points. Iowa trailing by two. Less than two to play. Wrecker returning the favor over Green for three. The Hawks up 67-66. Seven seconds, Detroit down one. Green, one last chance to win it, and no. Fight, fight, fight. Let every loyal Iowan sing in the rest of the fight song. Iowa holds on to win it by a count of 69 to 68. Rematch of last year's first round of the NCAA tournament, UNC Wilmington at Cincinnati. Ed Williams going the other way. Ed Williams, 15.7 boards. Wilmington led by four at the break, but we're tied at 30 in the second half. We want to see what Donald Little could do when he has some space. He creates some right here and gets the hoop and the foul. Little had nine points, a career high 16 boards. Cincinnati had 79 straight games with a three-pointer coming in right. Leonard Stokes rattles it. Since his first three of the game, the streak goes to 80. And by the way, Cincinnati wins as Huggins' team survived, shooting just 28% in that first half. Cats improved to 9-2. Texas knocking off UNC Asheville. 
after a week off to play Butler in the Fiesta Bowl Classic. And picking it up in the second half, Butler down one. Not anymore. Joe Cornette, 10 points. Butler leads by one. Wildcats struggling in this one, but finding a way. Lauren Woods in traffic. Seven-footers can do that kind of stuff. He had 25 in the night. He was going up four. Lauren Woods just back. Shot clock two, U of A leading by six. Luke Walton beating Jason Gardner with spots up. From that spot, you get three. Zone up nine, they win at 72 to 60. But for a minute, it looked like a first round of the NCAA regional with Butler up two, five and a half left. Woods kind of bailed out the Cats, 19 in the second half. Arizona 31 and 0 now at the Fiesta. They won all 15 championships and go for number 16 Friday night. Getting a game from Stony Brook. Josh Little nailing the three-pointer. He had 22 with six of seven from three. And Stony Brook down eight. Now they're only down five, but Karan Butler stealing down. Squash, UConn went up seven and went on to win 67-58. Bit of a struggle. The Seawolves shot a red-hot 75% from the field. UConn. Iowa Friday night. Please, no lobbing of ears of corn. Reggie, thank heavens Evans for the Hawkeyes. He had 11 in the first half, 19 total, trailing 79 balls, going to run. John Higgins, you get three points for that. Higgins again, he had 13. That would be three more. Who caps a 15 zip run? Balls let 33 22 at the half. And the balls start warm in the second half. Get the first 11 after intermission. Vince Yarborough, three of his nine. Tony Harris, he's from far, three points, he had 20, and then up 20, 42-22, Harris, oh, see, he set up the alley-oop by shooting all those threes, Isaiah Victor, two of his 11, 80-68, Tennessee is a winner, UT, eight of 22 for three, so we didn't show you the misses, they go to the line just 24 times this time, hitting 18 of them, Tennessee now 2-0 against Big, team, Big Ten teams this season. The all-time series coming in. That was a trend that would not continue. Broderick Hicks, six foot one, the big block on Demond Shepard, Craig Dawson, Robert O'Kelly. Pretty ball fake. The three. Wake up 18. Demon Deeks a season high 12 block shots. Here's another one. Antoine Scott. Then down the other end, it's Dawson here. Scott there. Scott with 15 points, a career high, 12 boards and five of the blocks. 90-58. Demon Deeks win. Wake Forest has won 16 straight. I'll go early first, Corey Bradford. Guess what? Corey's open for three. 77 straight games with a tray, extending his NCAA record. Still first half, Lucas Johnson to Frank Williams, 11-4. Line at that point. This would be a good Frank Williams highlight reel. For two, make it three, and Illinois wins 77 to 64. What about UMass and North Carolina? What about him? First half, Jason Capel, a little defense, the steal. Joseph Forte will finish. Oh, runner, two of his 16. Later in the second half, Joseph Forte all the way. 91-60, Carolina has won five in a row. UMass now two and eight. Their worst start since 85-86. First half action, Bulldogs trail by one. Lauren Woods misses the dunk. Bulldogs fast break to Tang Hamilton for the dunk. Dogs up by one late in the second half. We're tied. Richard Jefferson unties it. Cats up by three. Less than 10 seconds left. Cats up by one. Jackson, the jumper. Dogs up by one. Arizona, last chance. Time running out. Jefferson drives the lane. Inside, jumper. Too strong, no good. Mississippi State with the upset over Arizona. The loss, the Wildcats first in the 16-year history of the Fiesta Bowl Classic. It's also Arizona's fourth loss in the last eight games. This is Mississippi State's fifth straight win. Bright State, Michigan State. Raiders defeated the Spartans last season, but not this time. Mike Chappelle of the dunk. MSU leading 51-24 at the half. Second half, Charlie Bell for three. He had 26 later on in the second half. Off the miss, Chappelle stays with it, gets the rebound, goes up, plus one. Chappelle with a career-high 21 as Charlie Bell scores 26, ties a career-high with 11 assists in this win. Spartans now are 11-0 and for the first time in 102 years. It's also Michigan State's 22nd straight win going back to last season. North Carolina A&T at Duke. First half, Duke up 46-29. Shane Battier for three. Jason Williams, Shane Battier for three. Williams to Batty. 
28 for a three. Duke up 63-32 at the half. Second half, Duke up 82-43. Nate James with the steal and the dunk. Duke wins it going away. Battier with 27 of the season high, 31 in the first half. Blue Devils set a school record and tie the ACC record with 18 three-pointers. Virginia finishes its non-conference season undefeated with a knee trouble. First half, Oregon Green, the steal, and watch him go inside for the nasty dunk over Kyle Peterson. Take another look at this as Green, all by himself, goes up strong. He scored 13. Florida led 48-27 at the half. Second half, New Hampshire native Matt Bonner with the three. Bonner had 13, part of a 30-2 run. And then Brett Nelson with the three. Brett Nelson, a career high 26. The Gators win their school record 22nd straight home non-conference game. Also, Ole Miss wraps up its non-conference schedule with a Missouri State, Kansas off the miss. Mike Wallace, big time follow up dunk. Wallace had 20 of the Bears' 30 first half points still in the first half. Kansas in front by eight. Jayhawks, Nick Collison finds Luke Axtell for the three. He had nine first half three pointers. Kansas up 44 30 at the half. Kansas leading by 18 in the second half. Collison, the jump hook goes. He had 11 straight Kansas points as Kansas proves. Jayhawks have started the season 11 and 1 for the first time in some four years. The end of their non conference regular season. UC Toledo, rock and roll shootout in Cleveland. Under a minute to go, UC down by one. Kenny Satterfield loses the ball. Cats recover. Stokes misses, but then Davis follows up. UC up by one. Toledo down by one. Terry Reynolds drives, dishes to Greg Stempen, lays it in. Toledo up by one. Bearcats with a chance. Down by one. Satterfield drives, tries to shoot. He's blocked by Stempen. Satterfield just one of seven field goals. Bob Huggins can't believe it. UC came back from an 18-point deficit to briefly take the lead here, but Toledo holds on to hand the Bearcats their first loss in the rock and roll shootout.